Hey, this is Edwin from TheViralPublicity.com, and we are at Kavika's in downtown Long Beach at the Pike. I really recommend these uh, martinis. They, 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 uh, they're, they're real tasty. Uh, but speaking of martinis, we are with... Uh, John Apodaca, <laughs> and I'm with Daddy O's Martinis. I specialize in vintage-style cocktails, our cocktails uh, that I create made in the same fashion using only fresh ingredients, uh, using a lot of old 19th century and first half of the 20th century recipes, or I'll create something uh, made in that style, using only uh, like fresh limes, lemons, juices, I don't use sweet and sour, and um, I'm available for private events, parties, bar mitzvahs, weddings, corporate events. Are, are, um, are the vintage drinks coming back? Oh yeah, for the last five years, there's a big influence uh, in New York, Los Angeles, San Francisco. So uh, there's, I keep uh, finding all these different establishments popping up here and there. Even absinthe came back. Really? Yes. Uh, black licorice? It has that uh, anise flavor to it, and it's great. I have a drink uh, that I made up called uh, the Angel's Flight, named after the Angel's Flight in downtown LA. Cool, cool. Is, is that running yet? or is it? It, No, it's been running since March. Okay. Oh, great, great, great. Now, why would someone want to use uh, vintage, and, and, who, and what type of uh, people will, will come to you and say, bartend at my event? Well, people are kind of tired already of just plain vodka, cranberry, or uh, a Cosmo or a lemon drop. It's, it's overly sweet and in a huge glass. I tend to use three, three to four ounce glasses. I make, I will pre-squeeze all the, uh, the lemon, lime juices, everything, uh, you know, just everything's make, fresh. Everything's fresh, just like a chef. I, I call it liquid cooking. <laughs> and uh, people would want to hire me as opposed to just hiring Joe Schmo, bartender from, uh, from their neighborhood. Uh, from TJF. TGIF Fridays, something like that, because I will uh, work with them, create a menu just for them, print out the menus for them and their guests to look at, and you can see what's in the drinks, and you can see us making the drinks right in front of them. I, just like an old-fashioned, I will actually flame an orange peel for everyone. Squeeze out, and you'll see a flame as, as I'm... Uh, so to release the juices inside uh, that drink. Wow, that, that must be pretty fun to watch. Oh, it is. And people love it. They're fascinated. So how, does, how, do, how do people get in touch with you? Uh, they can go to my website, uh, daddiosmartinis.com. And I also keep a blog. So they can uh, look at the new recipes I'm always putting up on the, on the blog spot. And one last thing. Uh, you do a TV station or... Uh, uh, a radio. Um, well, a couple things. I do. I'm a frequent guest on the uh, internet-based radio show Martini in the Morning, and uh, usually uh, for every holiday, like I'll be doing a Thanksgiving show. Also, uh, I have a cocktail television, and I interview different bartenders from some of the places. Like I just did one with uh, my friend Aiden over at First and Hope in downtown Los Angeles. Uh, I did one with my friend. Uh, Tyler Dow over at Hilton Checkers in downtown as well. So great spot. Yeah, it's a lot of good places. I want to because I, I want to let people know about these great places they can go to. Great. All right, great. So uh, hope if you're interested in uh, vintage drinks, uh, give John Ap Ap Apodaca a call at uh, Daddy O Martinis. Daddyosmartinis.com. And we'll see you at the next ViralPublicity.com event.